Hi there. Uh, as you'll see, I'm back in London today. Um, I'm actually here for about one and a half days and I'm planning to shoot three very different uh, locations or subjects. Um, I'll tell you more about them later. Uh, first up today though is going to be this one, the Shard. Um, I'm planning to shoot this from all around, all different angles and try and get as many different type of shots of this one now iconic building of London. Um, I'm going to shoot this one slightly different, so this will be one of the very few shots I actually do to camera. I'm actually going to shoot it from my point of view, so you can actually see what I'm looking at and how I'm framing up uh, ready for when I take pictures. So I'm actually going to be shooting from chest height and you'll see what I'm looking at to give you an idea of how I'm composing the images. So something a bit different there. So uh, I'm going to crack on and um, start shooting this building. So my first viewpoint I'm going to do is actually up on from this uh, balcony above the, uh, the Thames here. I'm not sure what this building is here, but uh, it's got a very interesting shape. So this is what we're going to be looking at. This nice uh, triangular stairwell uh, object that we've got here. It makes it around the same height as the shard looking across there. So it actually makes quite a good shot. So I'm going to frame it, probably do a couple of shots, one bit to one side off to the right and then perhaps have it framed through the centre there um, and make a nice alternative. So there's a couple of views you can do here and then um, probably get as wide as I can to bring some of the stairway shape which is quite interesting as well so I'll, I'll try and fit that in as well. Try a different uh, couple of focal lengths and uh, see what I can get. I'm uh, shooting with my Olympus uh, OMD and 12 to 40 zoom lens uh, for this trip. Um, I have got a couple of other lenses that uh, I brought with me, but this is going to be my primary camera and lens combination for the uh, whole time I'm in London. Um, I'll probably do some other shots with my iPhone as well using the Hipstamatic app just to add a bit of variety to the shots that I get. So, um, but we'll start shooting with this Olympus for now. Now I have, just by carefully balancing the camera on the edge of this rail here, managed to do a, uh, a long exposure with the uh, Lee Big Stopper. It's only around 25 seconds here, but as it's clouded over again, um, not much movement in the cloud, but uh, it's blurred the water a bit. So combined with this um, triangular staircase bit, that will make a slightly different shot. Quite pleased with that, again, makes an alternative. Just careful not to knock my camera off the edge now. I was actually going to do three planned shots from this side of the Thames but as we can see the, uh, the walkway is currently closed off so uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. There was going to be one from this side of the Thames on, uh, on this side of London Bridge and then one from the uh, opposite side, the uh, west side. But I can't do those but they are shots that I've done before so I'll flash up on screen the two versions that I've done before just to show you the potential of the shots here but sadly I'm not going to be able to get those today but, so I'll have to move on and uh, head over across the Thames now to the South Bank. Okay so across the river now and uh, just outside London Bridge Station in a rather noisy environment but this uh, other quite unique looking structure to uh, compose the shard bit, that one there. Um, not sure what it is, but it obviously makes a nice uh, sort of, not contrasting, but a complementing shape to the shard up there. So we'll do a shot. Um, got cloudy skies, so there's not much colour anywhere. So I'm probably going to frame that up and uh, convert that one to black and white. But I'll use a, a 0.9 soft grad to uh, help keep some detail in the sky up there. And that should make a good result. So I've come to the, uh, the more London area of London, which is up near Tower Bridge. And again, there's three shots, which I can do the picture of the shard from. There it is up there. The first one being from just underneath the canopy of this building here. There's a nice flash of red on here, which I'm gonna try and complement that with. So that makes the first shot. Second view uses this uh, little track of uh, running water. 
runs down the middle of the street to use as a bit of foreground here. Nice interesting shot, nice vanishing point. Uh, uh, juxtaposes with the building on the right here. So um, I'm going to frame that up. Again, probably a vertical shot just because the sheer height of the building are good again and to make the most of that foreground that we've got here in the water. My third view from over at Moor London is a position just outside City Hall, another amazing building in London. Um, you've got the uh, nice kind of tube banister here that can be used again as foreground feature uh, to frame up the shot with the shard beyond but also this um, um, pavement here which is uh, with its blocks which also kind of lead into the shot in their diagonal form across it uh, perfectly placed so that they are leading towards the shard so they again they can be used as a a foreground feature, perhaps going a bit low to um, get them right at the bottom of the frame. Just before I leave uh, the more London area, there's a little bit of old and new contrast going on up there with that building in front with the shard peering out from the back. Possibly about to get that with a bit of blur from a moving bus going past underneath. So moving on uh, from uh, more London, I'm moving in a clockwise direction round. Uh, if we look north um, on a map with the shard, moving in a clockwise direction round. And I found this gardens here where we've got a nice bit of green and a color from the flowers. So an alternative from the urban view. Frame up a few shots here, I think. So I've moved along and I'm now outside of uh, Guy's Hospital. And um, we've got some really nice lines on that tower there, which I think is part of the hospital. Again, which makes a nice complement to the Shard view. And also just below it, there's this uh, unusual weave pattern um, on the building. Again that's going to make a nice bit of foreground if I can frame that up from across the road just to add a bit of a, a different mix with the shard appearing just above out the top of it. So I'm right underneath the bottom of the shard here and you can really appreciate its angular shape from down here uh, but I'm just going to walk around with a wide angle lens um, about 12 mil lens should capture uh, the best of the shape without including too much underneath because you want to remove obviously the pavement and just get the graphic shape looking up there but you can walk around and the uh, triangular form is changing all the time uh, a little bit of blue sky coming through but I'm still going to use a grad filter for now to um, hold back that sky um, and if it clears then I can obviously put a polarizer on and boost the sky but I'm just going to walk around and up to that walkway out there just to um, see what perspectives I can get. I notice as I walk around the building, especially from this elevated level up here, that you get different um, street lamps and street furniture uh, moving into your view. But uh, rather than exclude them, I'm actually doing some shots where I've got them included in the view, either to one side of the building or uh, juxtaposed over the side of uh, one side of the building, like so. Um, they kind of work pretty well sometimes, um, depending on the shape and uh, um, what's on them, but uh, it adds to the kind of minimalist feel, but uh, includes some of the features that are actually around the building, and um, there's no reason not to uh, include them as in some of your shots. Now, I found this um, statue of this soldier on the map when I was looking around the area and I thought this would make a good uh, composition with uh, the soldier in the foreground. Just got to stand in the middle of the road down here to get the shot though but uh, should be able to frame this up. I'm just going to angle it up slightly and then I'm going to bring an ND grad just to bring back that sky. I'm not even going to fill the top of the frame with the shard there. I think it looks just as good cut off, but get nice and tight. 
crop in there. Now this is just the type of um, urban view I was hoping to find around this area. Um, fantastic colourful graffiti, really striking and of course you've got the shard just appearing just up there above it so I'm hoping that a cloud's going to break even more so I can perhaps get a polarise on here and really make this most of the colour um, deepen the blue of the sky and uh, that should be a really good urban shot. With the train lines coming out of uh, London Bridge Station, there's lots of uh, really interesting looking railway bridges on this side of the, uh, the Shard. This one's a particular favourite of mine. We've got some old derelict buildings on the side there, which you can uh, juxtapose with. But I'm going to frame that up. Looking up to the Shard there. The, a bit of a train coming across as well. Now this view is actually still part of the same bridge, just a bit further on, a couple of streets across. Um, and again, you've got the same sort of girder uh, structure on it. Um, going to probably include that sign there on the on the right on the wall. Um, and then you've got the modern building just on the left. And then just squeeze the yard in in the middle. I have to probably zoom in a bit to fill the frame with it. And I've got some roadworks just below on the road there, so I'm going to have to shoot. Um, just above the level of them, so probably slightly compromise on the composition of one, but I should be able to just frame that up. And again, a grad on the sky, soft grad to allow me to um, filter the sky, but not um, get the effect too much on the bridge or the building on the left. Right, my next view was also going to be a bridge view, um, but unfortunately, uh, scaffolding and works are preventing me from getting this shot. To be honest, it's uh, it's one that looks better at night because there's lots of um, coloured lights on the wall behind that scaffolding, which look uh, really nice, lit up at night and uh, illuminate underneath the uh, the bridge. So never mind, it's not one that can uh, can be helped and uh, one to come back to another time. So I'm going to carry on up this street and see if the other view is available instead. Quite a tricky shot for this one. There's a fantastic building across the road there with its colonnade effect and with the shard just coming into view across there. Um, but it's an awkward one to shoot because I need to stand on the same side of the roads as the building across there or stand in the middle of the road to get the shot that I want. So I'll let you know how I get on. If I don't end the video, you know I've been run over. Luckily I didn't have to stand in the middle of the road to get this uh, viewpoint. I've been able to stand in front of this, uh, this part van. And I can just get the uh, columns coming into view on the left uh, from this angle and get the shard. Uh, looking up there, we're just getting a bit of blue sky coming in, so I've put a polarizer on. And as you can see, as I turn the polarizer, it just darkens that blue sky and makes the shard stand out a bit better in the sky there. So that's a that's a nice viewpoint there. Well, that's my day with the Shard just about over. Uh, it's a new location tomorrow. I think I've got a bit of a creak in the neck with all that looking up today. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Actually, with that sun out, just one more shot.